Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this acceleration problem, they talk about a cross-country skier and they say that she's going along at eight meters per second. She stops and just simply glides along, slowing to a reduced speed of six meters per second after going for five meters. And then what is the acceleration as she's slowing down? So in these questions, I think it's really important to always make a list of the variables that they give you, including what you're trying to find. It really helps to solidify what is going on in the problem so you don't get lost in all the numbers and the confusion. So so they tell us that the initial velocity is eight meters per second. Then they say that she slows down to a reduced speed of six meters per second. So we'll say that's the final velocity, six meters per second, after going for five meters. So the delta x is equal to five meters. And we're trying to find what is the acceleration as she's slowing down. So thinking about the acceleration, she's slowing. So we should end up with a negative value here. So that's important to remember. So now when we look at the kinematic equations, we need one that has all of these variables in it. And fortunately for us, there is one. So we have V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus two times the acceleration times the delta x. So now we want to isolate this equation for acceleration. So we'll move the velocity over. So we have v final squared minus v initial squared is equal to two times acceleration times delta x. And we want to isolate acceleration. So we'll divide both sides by two delta x. So that goes away, that goes away. So now let's come over here so we have some room. So we have V final squared minus V initial squared divided by two delta X is equal to the acceleration. And we have all these, so we can just plug it into our formula. So when we do that, we have the final velocity is six meters per second. And then we'll be squaring that whole thing minus the initial, which we said was eight meters per second and we'll square that. And then we'll divide that whole thing by two times the distance, which we said was five meters for the delta x. So now let's go to our calculator and we have six squared minus eight squared. And that's all divided by two, bracket this, two times five, two times five. So we have the final acceleration is negative 2.8. So just like we talked about, we know that the negative is not a surprise because she's slowing down. So the final answer is negative 2.8 meters per second squared for the acceleration as she slows in this situation.